But what about breakfast? All right, Deadly Seven Demon, you're the last one. So hurry up and get out of here. So, or, no, get out. Or no, yeah, get out of here is what he said. But it should be get out here because you want him to come here. So I can beat you up and save my friend. Well, let's see. This, is this the last one? Hold on. There was, there was freaking... Dante, then Goku, and then Morshu, who sold us a thing. And then we beat that weird gotcha game person, followed by Burger Guy, who took the burger, and then we beat Gun and Knuckles. So this is the last one, and it's actually the only silhouette I recognized. That's weird. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Huh? Hey, kiddo. I'm Tans. Tans the skeleton. <laughs> That's a skeleton. A walking, talking skeleton, with a cheeky grin and deep chuckle. Normally I'd be stunned or surprised, but this time I'm too on edge to care. The footage of Natsuki being beaten by her father played in my mind. My patience is running out. So you're the demon I gotta fight? Yep, that's me. I would very much like it if we don't fight, though. I'm the weakest member there is. If we could talk this out, that would be great. Something tells me this guy's lying through his teeth. I fought a couple demons already. I can kind of sense whether or not someone's powerful or not. And this guy ain't someone I should mess with. Look, I need to get past you. If you don't want to fight, cool, you let me pass, right? Oh, not that easily. Dude, I'm serious. State your terms or get out of the way. I'm in a rush here. That wasn't very nice, pal. You ain't my pal. Well, I want to be your pal. Just tell me what I it needs to do to get past you. Past you. Well... I can't let you pass if you bring me my favorite food. Your favorite food? Yeah, you got a bottle of ketchup, right? Why would I have a bottle of ketchup on me? Morshu did sell a bottle of ketchup, but I didn't buy it. Look, just get out of my way. Nope. Get lost. Uh, Fuck off. That's not nice at all. I don't care, she needs me, and I have no time to entertain you. Well, you've got plenty of time. Speaking of time, buddy old pal. Are you ready to have a bad time? Sans the skeleton blocks the way. Alright, you. I guess we're gonna attack you. Press the attack. Halley attacks. Sans dodges Halley's attack. There goes nothing. Hmm? Yep, it's literally nothing. <laughs> you just got a troll. Stop wasting my time! Eh. Press the attack. It's dodges again. There goes nothing. Yep, it's literally nothing. Is this is this all it's gonna be, Sans? Is this how it's gonna go? This is getting frustrating. Go, get him, get him. Sans is just standing there, grinning menacingly. Press the attack, do it. Here goes nothing. He's still doing nothing. Alternate Billy ready. Thomas function ready as well. Okay, but can any of these things hit him? Hell, he called for help. Here he answered. Touch this. Yuri's whole body engulfed with flames as she attacks on Sans. Hey, you missed. You missed. What? Impossible! Yuri returns to the real world after attacking. Unamara failed due to Halley's impatience. He's doing nothing again. But we still have our ultimate ability. Feels a great power from deep within. Summons his guardian angel. Shoots four towards a divine flame from its four mouths. Sans dodges the angel's wrath. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was a close one. The angel disappeared after attacking. There goes nothing. Yep, it's literally nothing. But, but what can we even do, right? <laughs> a warm blow and out. Hey, Spear Sword. This is getting frustrating. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I haven't tried Sayori yet, so we'll just try to do it. Well, let's just see if we can get the columns back up, and then we'll try to get Sayori solved. For fuck's sake, stop dodging and let me hit you! How about no? Ah! Wow, you're really pissed off. All right, that'll be a bit serious. Get ready. Hmm? A giant dragon skull appears. The giant dragon skull blasts a torrent of pure energy at Halley. Ah, the Gaster Blaster. Gah! Shit, I underestimated him. <laughs> For varying this sin of violence into two timing, I hereby sentence you to death. That's not fair. Die. Wait! Just kidding. Huh? I'm not actually obligated to fight you. You're not? Why would I? I don't have any actual beef with you. Both figuratively and literally. Hold still, let me heal you. Ah, that's better. 
My charcoal arms are turning back into normal flesh arms. <laughs> but aren't you one of the Deadly Seven? Yeah, about that. It simply refuses to become one of the Deadly Seven. I mean, why should it even care? I am not even from this game. And even if I do have the power to stop you from going into the deepest layer of the marble, it would only use my powers to hurt an unforgivable sadistic psychopath who decides to kill everyone just for the heck of it. You are not a killer, so it ain't gonna fight you, pal. But since I am just a copy of the character from the game Undertale, at this point I don't even care what, what, whether that player behind you is the one who destroyed my world or the one who saved it. Uh, what is he talking about? You know this guy, player? I've actually never played Undertale. What can I say? Generous Drought is just a good pass on. I, uh, being Azrael and released you guys, so we cool. Yeah, I, I never played Undertale. That's the honest answer. Oh, is it so? Man, like I have said, you don't care anymore. All I want to do right now is to help you. Beats helping out the bad guy of this story, anyway. As one strange game character after another, you know? Wait, but if you aren't one of the Deadly Seven, then how are you still here? It can still exist since my mimetic influence is simply too great. The idea here is, that, or here is that it am so powerful that it can do whatever it wants. And the people love me for it. It's the people's love or the precise obsession for me that allows me to exist here as is. Somehow it also caused me to be immune to the Demon Lord's influence, even if he's the one who had created me. It gave my Deadly Seven title to someone else, the one who's holding your friend captive in the center. Monica? No, but it was someone you're supposed to face later, should you wish to save your friend. He's quite the monster. I even tried to kill him myself, but I couldn't. Not even my blasters can destroy the walls surrounding it. This marble layer teleportation doesn't work either. Turns out the only way to break this layer of the marble apart is for me to disappear. But I don't want to disappear yet. Not before meeting you, that is. Also, I wanted to make a cameo appearance for my fans. <laughs> now it's my turn to ask you a question. Are you sure you can do this? What? I, I don't understand. Can you still call yourself her lover, despite the fact your heart is swaying? Hey, no, stop. No, he has to stop. They're watching us and listening to us. I'ma just go. Let me pass, please. Not so fast, Buckaroo. We're gonna talk a bit. Hey, listen here. It can sense that what's bothering you. You ain't okay. Are you gonna hide the truth from her? What will happen when she finds out about it? Shut up! You stay out of this! Eh, eh I'm just trying to help. Honestly, you really should tell her what happened between you and Natsuki. If you really cared about your girlfriend, that is. But if I told her... Her main clouds will come back. But if you don't tell her, things will become a thousand times worse. Your dishonesty and infidelity will make her not trust you. You're only one whom she can rely on. Her rain clouds return to maximum capacity and you cannot clear her rain clouds anymore. Should she decide to seek the easy way out once again, her death will be on your hands. Are you sure you want that to happen? I... Well, what are you going to do? Hey, looks like there's no need for me to hear your answer. You've made up your mind already, haven't you? Well, good luck. Yeah, I'm going to grill bees. See you, pal. Zami's already on. Siri and Yuri are in there waiting for me. Yuri averts her eyes. Siri just stares at me. Dun dun dun. Howie, is there anything you need to talk to me about? I... No turning back now. Sans is right. This has to come out sooner or later, and the sooner the better. <sighs> Sayori, I need to apologize. I... I am horrible, and I'm sorry. Holy... I lied about a lot of things. The burning oven, that was a lie. That wasn't why I was out so out of it yesterday. The reason why I was nervous yesterday was because... I am a cheater! I spent a lot of time with Natsuki in the dream world, and slowly I realized that... I... I like Natsuki more than just a friend. Even though I already have you, I can't fight this feeling. We've been having fun hanging out in our dreams, reading manga, watching anime, and baking cookies together. And I... Slowly, I can't shake off the desire of wanting to be closer to her. And she likes me too. She kissed me on the cheek. I myself don't think it's okay for us to be this way. I want to tell her tonight that I cannot be with her. But she was hurt by her father again, just because she smiled at the memory of her confessing her feelings for me. I don't know what's the right thing to do any or what the right thing to do is now. But right now, I know what I need to do for you, for us. And that is to tell you the truth. It's only fair that you know this. I'm sorry. Player, what kind of expression is she making right now? I can't see her. My head is lowered. Please tell me. I don't have the strength nor the courage to raise my head. She she is smiling at the moment. What? How? Why? You're lying. That can't be right. 
I cheated on her, and she's smiling. <laughs> Praise your heart, Ellie. Her tone. I know this tone. She only uses this tone when I apologize to her for something, and when she's not mad anymore. As if she's a princess taking, or talking to a guilty criminal. It's all right. Raise your head. I forgive you. I slowly raise my head. Really? Yep. You're officially pardoned. I... No. This is... This is not all right. You... How could you betray Sayori's trust? After what you have said to turn me down. Is that a lie? Stop! It's fine. You're ego yell at my boyfriend. But Sayori... How can you be okay with this? It's fine. He has to go through this for his own sake. And for Nazi's sake, too. Ellie? Yes? You love me, right? I do. I love you. No doubt. And I'm sorry I developed these feelings for her. To be honest, I even fantasized how I can love you both at the same time, but I know this is wrong. I just want to be a family with you and her together. I'm sorry. So, you still don't know, huh? What? I still don't know what. Hallie. Yes? What I'm about to say may sound strange to you, but... I want you to follow your feelings and do what you want when you're in the dream world with Natsuki. What? Sayori, what are you... If you want to kiss her, kiss her. If you want to confess to her, do it. Whatever you're going to do when you're in there, I'm not, or, or not going to blame you. But, but how can you be okay with this? That would mean I would be cheating on you. Well... I'd actually love to have Natsuki as part of our family. What? Stay with my question. I always wanted to have a cute little sister. If you wanted, or if you want her to be together with us, that's fine by me. Just promise me that you will love us both equally and give us both the same amount of attention, and I'll be fine. She winks at me and at Yuri. Yuri seems to understand something. Her posture relaxes. This has gone a very strange direction. My mind's a mess. <laughs> Why is she so enthusiastic about this? But I. Look, you want her, and I want her as well. We can be a family together, just like what you've said. And you do need to get your feelings and heads sorted out so this can happen. There, just do what you want for your guilt, for your super generous girlfriend to have given you permission to do so. <laughs> I'm speechless. Her tone doesn't seem strained, as if she's actually okay with the idea of me dating her. She doesn't sound worried, not one bit. Is she okay with a polyamorous relationship? There's not a single drop of, of tear in her eye, and I know she's very good at hiding her true I try my best to sense whether she's faking it for my benefit. Nothing. I cannot find anything that tells me that she's not okay with this. She's not trembling or tensed up. She's completely relaxed. Her smile is real. But she's definitely hiding something. I know this because of the way she speaks. As if she has a surprise waiting for me, or as if she's testing me. Say, Ori, are, are you sure? That's the only way. She winks at Yuri again. This is sus. I know I won't get any answers from them. It feels like I'm being trolled. I don't know how to feel. I mean, I just get a harem route like that. It's almost too easy. What if she doesn't want you to be part of us? Oh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Just go to sleep and tell her how you really feel. It's okay. Our love will prevail. Are you sure? Yes. I don't like how optimistic she sounds. Go to sleep now. Don't want to keep her waiting. She's in a lot of pain right now, isn't she? I mean, like, we saw it too, you know, how she's being treated. Go help her feel better, okay? The TV shut off on its own. Hmm. Natsuki's already asleep. I'm just gonna go lie down. Days, you're there, right? Yes, my child. Can you transmit footage of my dream with Natsuki directly to her TV screen? Yes, I can. Thanks. She needs to see this. I return to the dreamscape. My heart pounds with anticipation. Natsuki's sitting and fidgeting on my bed. Her face is red. I take a deep breath. <sighs> I look at her without averting my eyes. Hey, Natsuki. <laughs> hey, Hallie. She's not bruised in the dream world, but I know for sure that in the real world she's badly hurt. How could she still have the strength to talk to me? No. It's because of me that she's still holding on, isn't it? I... Natsuki wordlessly gestures for me to sit beside her on my bed. I comply and sit down next to her. We sit silently, side by side. The tension around us can be cut by a knife, specifically Yuri's. The awkwardness of the silence chokes me like Sayori's noose. 
I gotta say something before my sanity gets any lower. So, so, you go first. Natsuki nods and she takes a deep breath. So, about yesterday. Yeah? What's your answer? D do you like me? Natsuki, of course I like you. <laughs> she just made a noise that's a fusion between a squeal and a gasp. Cute! But, I'm sorry. Shit, her expression changed in an instant into something less pleasant. It's not that I'm lying. It's just that I already have... You already have someone else. I know. What? How? Don't ask me how I knew that. I just know. Natsuki sighs. Just kiss me. What? Jeez, don't make me say it a second time. Just kiss me and I promise I will give up on you. It's better for you to give up on me too. I can tell how much you love that other person. But I... Gah. Her face is now inches away from mine. I close my eyes and brace myself. It's happening. Nothing happened? I open my eyes. Oh. Nuts, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't know why. I, I really, really love you, but... I just can't bring myself to kiss you. I don't know why. It's, it's okay. How about I... It's strange. I think this is the part, or the part where I'm supposed to feel hurt, but I don't feel hurt at all. Not one bit. Maybe it's because I feel guilty that I'm doing this. I try to kiss her. I lean forward. I recalled all the times we've been together. I love her as much as I love Sayori. I know you're okay with this, but... Forgive me, Sayori. I... I kiss her on the forehead. She looks at me with her eyes full of tears. I can't tell if it's from shock or disappointment. Sorry. I couldn't bring myself to do this, to kiss you on the lips either. It just feels wrong. P please don't misunderstand me. I love you as well. It's not that I stopped because I don't want to cheat on my girlfriend. Trust me, she even gave me the okay to do this. But it's just... It's like this isn't normal in the relationship we were supposed to be. Y you felt it too, didn't you? The feeling that we can be closer than friends. Just not this. Yeah, exactly. This strange, warm feeling. I really want to be a family with her, despite the fact that the one I love is Sayori. Wait, family? These flashbacks, could it be? I wipe off her tears gently. She doesn't stop me. She gingerly touches my hands with her own. Slowly, our foreheads touch. We stare into each other's eyes. Hey, it's okay. Please don't cry. Are you the cutest, strongest girl in the whole world? I am not cute! Shit, right, my bad, just the strongest. Who's the guy? I'm gonna go have a nice long talk with him. So don't! I don't want you to get into trouble! So what if I'm gonna get into trouble? No one bullies you and gets away with it. He, he has friends and he's big and ugly and I don't want you to get hurt! But I gotta do something about this. I have to stop them from bullying you ever again. If I don't do anything, what kind of brother would I be? Gasp! Did you see it? I... I did! I remember! And I know! None of this is real, is it? Larger Club, this world! I... Now I understand everything! My feelings, my relationship with you! Why we click so well? Not. <laughs> That's a dumb look on your face! Hey, you better come save me later, okay? Don't be late again, big bro! How long have you known? Since the beginning. You have to reach the truth on your own. Why didn't you tell me? Also, Sayori knew, didn't she? Why didn't she tell me? I was was worried sick about my feelings towards Natsuki. She was an admin of this system. She knew and remembered the past events on her own accord. You were never an admin, so should I reveal to you your true past, the sudden burst of sealed memories will shatter your mind beyond repair. Monica and Sayori were already at admins of the game system, and while that caused them to go slightly mad from the revelation, it also fortified their mind from the info overload. That was the unlocking of their sealed true past. Your flashbacks were snippets of your true past, slowly dripping back to you. You need this slow revelation to avoid causing unnecessary damage to your psyche. Not even Yuri knows of her true past, but she will soon, all of you will. This knowledge has been sealed very, very deeply within your souls, unable to be erased, only contained. My true past? 
So when are you going to tell me who I really am? I do not have the requirement or the obligation to tell you. You will remember me on your own. Or words, you will remember on your own. Speaking of which, she is waiting for your response. Are you emotionally ready to communicate with her? Yeah. I'm cool.